Hello, it is that time. How are you? Happy Sunday and it's coffee time. Ah, oh, thank you, Helen. Thank you, my dear. So I am Emma from Emma's Happy Place Arts and Crafts and I design craft kits, um, colour create kits to be exact. Some have fully coloured images I can just cut out and use as infirmary. Um, or you can colour them yourself. The papers take all your mediums. You can image transfer with them on to MDF, wood, ceramic and material. And they're just fab value. So I'm just doing the thing with the thing, with the technology. And then I am all yours. Tonight we are working with coffee for the coffee and... For the Colour Our World, Colour Your World um, monthly thing that we do. And next Sunday is the first Sunday of the month. So we'll start. So we're going to do it actually. Then, hi, Julie. Long time no see. Lovely. I hope you're all right. Um, so it's Colour Your World, um, the first Sunday of every month. But next, next Monday, we're going to be the challenge this month is coffee and the colour is orange. So I thought tonight we'll go through some coffee techniques and I've been playing. First of all, though, I have added some extra bits to the website. I do want to just show you them super quick. So that's not one of them. <laughs> I don't know what that was. but <clears throat> So these ones here, they're called mechanical, mechanical something. And again, they are the other pet stickers, which I'm absolutely in love with. Um, I do want to say, though, you can actually use these in resin as well, which I will be showing you at some point. Look at that one. Be great for gothic and things. But I think they're incredible. Absolutely fabulous. And I love the colour of these. Absolutely, That one's my favourite, I think, that flower there. The roses. So you get two of each and the numbers are on the website anyway. But then I've got these white ones in as well. I was waiting for these. And they've got like a holographic outline to them. And they're like uh, white and grey. It's like monotone. And they're fabulous. And I think they're quite big. They're 8 by 8 centimetres, I think. So they're quite big. So you're getting two of each flower. And I think there's 10. But check the website. Woo! -hoo. And then we have these big purple rolls. Now, these ones are big. They are huge. Like, really big. And you get six of these. But again, you can chop them down and things. So they're fabulous. And then we have some red. Let's get them out. Oh, the green trees as well. They're back. Ooh, and the coloured trees, the candy floss trees, rainbow trees. But there's the red ones. And again, they're huge. Absolutely stunning. Um, I do have these leaves coming back in on order as well. So I've got all three colours coming back in. The light, the dark. I've got another colour as well, I think. So there's four colours coming in. But that is that, the new colour and create kit, if you didn't see it last week, I don't think I've got a full kit here though. Oh, I might have, hold on. Hang on, I might have. So this is called Wild and Free. Mine has got ink on because our pen exploded, but that's fine, it's mine. So you get two of each, there's 25 sheets because you get some sentiments in there as well. And look at that, isn't that just, just incredible. Look at that one, that one, Ugh, die cut out. It's just lush. Punch into it, use your punches, two of each one. Loads of daisies. Hi, Judith. Hi, Kim. Hi, anybody that's coming that missed you. I've started waffling straight away. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Hilary. Hi, Donna. So these are the kit. You get loads of leaves and things as well to build up. Other images, this one as well. I just love how it blends together. But I did add, there's the sentiments, a washi tape. Well, it's not washi tape, it's strips. I don't know where that one's gone. Have I missed it? It's strips of um, paper that you cut down and use like washi tape. And it's these ones here, but there's like loads of different ones on the sheet. If I come across it, I'll show you it. But tonight, the thing is coffee. So, I've been busy. I'll show you. So I've copy dyed some paper. These are the new stencils that are on as well. 
So this one is a skinnier one, and it's it's like um a log. It's like vintagey a log type thing, like um log book maybe. And then this one, which is bigger, which is like a receipt page, and that is done with the coffee. And this is just done on cheap printer paper. But this one here is a mixed media card, and look how the stencils look when it's dyed into the paper so i'll show you how to do this i did mix the coffee with some um matte medium but this one it was too thin but i still love the way it looks so that's the first stencil we're going to do it again and this one i mixed um you know the fancy coffee that goes in a percolator i mixed it in and it's create, created an awesome texture so we're going to do that as well also i've been dyeing fabric and make it in ribbon so that and I did some colouring in with it and then we made some paper roses out of it um like this like a little rosette with a button in these are the orange flowers i mean it's stunning so this here and this is made out of crepe paper which i've dyed i put a little flower in the middle of that one that was the first one i did so it's not as ruffly then there's this one and this one I dyed with the coffee and the orange. And then this one is lace with the crepe paper in the middle and a rose. I think this one's my favourite. And then this one, because this one's got the shrink in the middle. So there's loads and loads that you can do with it. And we're going to work through each technique rather than making anything tonight. But I have added a template to the Emma's Happy Face Arts and Crafts group on Facebook that you can absolutely... Um, download for free it's free it's in a file and um, you just cut them out and that'll be a template to make the paper roses and things and i think on tuesday i'll show how to make the paper rose kelly i've been quiet did you not notice so i do have a little jar of coffee mixed up here now coffee is very acidic so you just need a tiny little bit of baking powder or bicarb it might be i use this just a tiny little bit um say just on the end of a teaspoon it just takes some of the acid off it as well that's perfect judith honestly it works so so much so this here is coffee boiling water out the kettle so it won't go moldy it might eventually with the coffee but mm. you can get flavored coffee you can you can i've got some on the bench caramel and also the skinny skinny oh what the heck's it called skinny something to coffee thingies <laughs> that helps it all coffee flavors right so i'm gonna have to use a long brush so basically on the paper all i'm going to do is paint it you can dip your paper in or anything i find this actually less messy so to start off with all we're going to do is you can use a bigger brush if you want i'm just using it for this because well i'm live and i'm going to try and make as least mess as possible my desk's already a tip so and then I would leave that to dry for a few minutes. And this is like 100, G, 100 GSM printer paper. So you can see how it goes like motley because it's not made for water. But when that dries off, which I will dry quickly. Yeah, Donna just um, used tea. Or I'll send you a little sachet of coffee if you want to do it, if you haven't got any. Is that what the conversation's about? I'll send you a little thing of coffee. I have got coffee coming out my ears in this house, mate. If you cut me open, I'm sure it would be coffee that came out. I love the stuff. Hence the fact I probably don't sleep as a lot as well. Right, so that's dry enough. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stencil. We'll use the butterfly for this one. And this has got coffee in as well. Now, I think it's clogged up is clogged up of course it's clogged up why would it not be i've got these in tenerife these little bottles so i'm going to blame that okay so what i'm going to do is hold it down it won't be perfect and just paint the coffee over without being too precise about it because i don't want to like scrub it in too much i just want it to do its own thing and i'm going to leave the stencil on there it does not take long to dry at all 
but that is your first way. What are you start? Don't start you off on how much coffee I drink. <laughs> yeah, beanies, that's what we've got on the bench, the beanies, flavoured coffee. But I've also got the skinny coffee things as well. They're like sugar free. <laughs> so next off is, I think, what we should do. I'm going to close that and I'm going to mix it with the gel medium. Now, I did find... I ordered some more matte medium and the scent gloss, but it's fine. We'll make it work. So this one is a Liquitex one, but all any medium. This one is a heavy medium because that one was um. Where's it gone? I had it. Oh, I'm sitting on it nearly. This one and it's runny. So that's this one. So it's not very thick, but this one is a heavy. Come on, Emma. Where does it say? Oh, gel. There. But it's a heavier one. Decaf's okay. Isn't it? So I want to take a bit of the coffee dried paper that we've got already. I'll move that out of the way. And I'm, this is the fancy stuff. So this is going to give it a grit. And we're going to use this stencil here, which I love. So this one's the A4 one. Oh, there is another stencil on the website as well. Hold on, I'll show you that one. And it's just loads of textures, which I just seen and thought it would be awesome. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different ones on there. So I saw that and thought it would be fabulous. So with this one, I'm not going to do it all. We're going to do half and half. And I need a spatula. Right. Here's me thinking I was so organised. I was meant to try not reading all the stickers. It probably would, you know. In fact, I'm sure it would. There's not that much shine to them anyway, really. So all I'm doing is I'm taking some of the heavy gel medium. Have I got somewhere to mix it? So I can show you. We'll mix it on. I need somewhere to mix it. What have I got that's plastic that I don't mind using? Use the back of this because it'll just peel off. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pop it on there. You probably won't need this much. I'm just going to... And I'm going to tip... This is the percolator coffee into it. And it will colour it because... The colour does seep out when it's added to wet. Oh. I mean, you could just get a pumice mix. Or a sand texture paste. But I'm sorry, but the coffee gives it a lovely colour. And I love coffee. So, again, just as you usually would. Now, when you're using it with a thicker, like a gritty texture, it's not going to go in like usual. So, you might have to wiggle it around a bit more. And then wash your stencil off straight away after. Just run it under the tap or stick it in the sink with some water and go back to it because really you don't want all this stuff in your stencil because then it'll not be a very good stencil after that Gosh. so I'll get the rest off you can use your finger if you want as well and make it go further but if you don't like getting dirty fingers just wash your stencil off right more tissue Tidy up as we go, Emma. So these here are the texture plates. They're on the web, and obviously the thing that they are, it means that everything will just come off. So the great use of palette, but look at that. How cool is that? And that's with your percolator coffee through. So I'm gonna clean this off. I do not want to ruin my stencils because. I will have to take another one off the website if I do. And that's just naughty. I'm meant to be behaving myself this year. Oh. Easy to clean. Water. Wipe. Even easier over the sink. I think as well, you know, as much as it's coffee, it doesn't make your stuff smell bad. 
it smells kind of, it's got a nice smell to it. It's like, it's not a coffee smell. I've been sniffing it all week because obviously I've been playing because I want to give you lots of options for next week for the Colour Your World. If you do want to join in Colour Your World, there is a sheet on the Emma's Happy Place Arts and Crafts group with all the prompts that were did. And you can go back and watch the other lives if you would like to. <clears throat> so the next one is, again, with the gel medium. If you like it glossy, go glossy. If you like a matte, go matte. And this is the instant coffee. Now, it was the Rinkins coffee, so it was quite big. So I have ground it down a bit with the back of a pencil because I didn't want it to take ages for it all mix in. So again, just like that. And this one, because it's instant, it will melt down and it leaves the most incredible colour. Oh, I'm doing is mushing it. So the likes of, um, I'm trying to think of a one that's got an ultra-fine mellow birds. Is that an ultra-fine one? I mean, look at that already. Look at that colour. I love it. I love coffee. <laughs> I love eating with coffee. I love drinking coffee. I love chocolate-covered coffee beans. <laughs> it smelled did it like proper coffee and i think we'll use this one because i do love these two new stencils so one's more finer um they're very similar actually but different at the same time and this one you just push through like your butter and toast if you do get a gel medium though, it works as a glue, it works as a resist, it works as a bit of everything, to be honest. There we go. So it has seeped through a little bit because I was pushing down too hard, but you know what? It looks blooming cool. So again, I am going to wipe this off. I, I love them. I love it so much. But there's no reason why you can't open a tea bag and do the same thing with tea if you haven't got coffee. This is not purely thingies with coffee. You can use cinnamon in it. You can use um, allspice. It's just go crazy with it. You can add allspice to embossing powder and your embossing powder will smell like that as well. I need, what do I need, Emma? Come on, think, Finny. Did I say I was going to get something there? Yeah, this stencil's on the website now. Yeah, I've just lost all my trail of thought. Yeah, maybe it's not, Chaz. But I can send you some coffee if you want to play with it. I really don't mind. I don't, can you play with coffee upside down? I don't know. Are you crafting? <laughs> that may be a good thing to ask. How are you getting on? <laughs> Living your life upside down. But I do love coffee. I've drank coffee since I was a kid and I love it. I don't put sugar in it. I like it bitter. I like coffee as bitter as me. <laughs> yeah, if you're putting um, like your spices in your embossing powder, it will make your embossing powder smell as well. But we'll do that as well one week because I've got all sorts of meat cupboards. Right, so that's the stencils. We've done, I've got the stencil drying behind to get that on you can spritz it through a stencil as well and get the same sort of detail now we have ribbon and this stuff this stuff is on the website and it's quite a lot on it and i'm just gonna pull off a bit so say about that much it depends how poofy you want your thingy your rolls to be and all i'm gonna do is actually before we do that i've got white crepe paper here and this is how i did these ones and the crepe paper is cheap as chips and i have got some here which i've done there so all i did was cut it into strips not tiny little strips you want some good strips of it and then rolled it dunked it into the coffee and let it soak up and then i, I nipped it out the end so it wasn't totally soaking and then 
opened it out a little bit. It still will stick together a little bit, but it's fine. It's easier to do it like that than leave it. And then I just stood it under a radiator on a plate. I'll not do that one. And then on the other end, all I did was I like painted some orange along or along the top and the orange went into it. So watercolor, whatever you like, but that is the crepe paper. Next is this, which I did spritz it, but we're going to make the rosette thing first. And you do need a needle and thread for this. I'll let me grab my needle. I always got to put it back or else I'll stand on it. Uh, am I going okay? Am I not going too fast? Am I... You can watch back. It'll be there forever and ever and ever. I just don't want to bore the tears. I've got so much. So I'm going to take some of this thread so you can see it because... Can you remember the time I tried to use see-through thread on a live? You don't need loads of it. You do not use loads of it, but you need a good length so it doesn't fall off the end. And I'm going to thread the needle here. Hang on. I'm going to have to... I think... Shaz, you're going to have to message me this full conversation. Are you okay? Are you crafting? Are you managing okay? Any news? Has your COVID gone? And I can't thread a needle on a live. Well, Kelly, I was waiting for you. It uh, shows how to do it, my dear. But uh, I had to ring Yolanda. Because you didn't. You just didn't. So there. No, I kind of worked it out anyway. I had an idea. I just wanted to check. So all you do is you take your length. And basically, in and up, and in and up, and in and up, and in and up, all the way around. And I'm not going to take my eyes off it because you can guarantee I will poke myself with a needle now I'm live. I did actually um, attempt embroidery with one of my images, but I had more holes in my fingers. Then enough. Hi, Trude. So I'm going to put that not all the way at the end because you don't want it to fall off the bottom. But you will need to move it down as you go. And this can be lace. This is exactly what I did with the crepe paper. Um, I love this chiffon stuff because it's already got a raggy edge. <laughs> Where's Kelly? <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> oh, it was bloody morning. That Emma. <laughs> Sorry, dear. I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't it's all right though i kind of had an idea i thought i'd lost you there <laughs> so all the way along we're nearly there i have actually got um white ribbon on the website as well and i think it's something crazy like 10 meters because once you've got white my idea was once you've got white ribbon you can dye it any colour. You can use your coffee, you can use your watercolours, you can use your acrylic. So I tend to stick to white rather than colours, unless it's a black or a colour that I really, really like, then I'll get it. Um, but for like the likes of plain colours, I tend to just stick with white and dye it myself, and then it matches the project with whatever colour you're using. As long as it's not going on a dress or something, then watercolours is absolutely fine. So right to the end, like that. And then you've got it. You take your needle off now. Less dangerous for Emma here. Hold on. Oh, sorry. <coughs> so that is it. I'm going to push it further up because you don't need to waste all your thread. It'll do again. And that is it there. So you can see how it's all puffy there. And then all we're going to do is tie a knot. Right. like that and then a double knot like that and then chop it off so this bit of thread here will do another one and this is your puffy thing how cute is that now you can have the puffy bits up in the middle if you want the two end joining you kind of just want to wiggle it so they go away but you can have it either way. I think I prefer it that way. It looks more poofy. Like that. And then all I did was with the coffee was I spritzed it, but my spritzer isn't working. So all I'm going to do is 
I'm going to bunch it all together and dip it in. Dip it a bit further and squeeze it out. And then it's just the very ends done. But you kind of can squeeze it down a little bit to get it wherever you want. And then it's like monotone. How cute is that? And then we can take a little bit of orange watercolory. And what colours on that? I need to check. That'll do. So water and then in the middle. Stick that in. So this is the orange, obviously because it's orange and coffee. And then spritz it a bit more to make it bleed out. And then you can add one of your shrinks in. You can add a button. And I just think that is the most cutest thing ever. This stuff is like hen's teeth to get. It's honestly, and it's so cute. And it feels lovely. And it's a lovely thickness as well. It's... um. just under two inches so in inch and three quarters or something. it doesn't it look absolutely incredible and then popping them on your cards and things um so i've got this one with the shrink in this one's done with lace and the crepe paper but there's no reason why you couldn't build one up with the lace and the crepe paper and a rose and have it like multi-layered um this is coffee with orange ink around as well um what else oh just on i'm going to pop that to one side to dry oh put that there oh i did make one of those swirly roses as well i wanted the paper out the new kit but i don't know if i like it or not i think i do because of the colors but i don't really like the swirly roses i will use it all um let's have a look and see what's happening with this <laughs> so this here now it's not done much, it's got too much on. But if I left it, you can see the butterfly shape. So I'll just pop that back down. And then I think that will come back to that on Tuesday when it's totally dry. You will need to rinse your um, stencils off after waiting with coffee though, because it goes quite sticky. Um, I've lost my trailer thought. Or, oh, bear with, I need some more card. I knew I'd forget something. Two seconds, let me find it. It is here. <laughs> there it is. So, how I got the coffee rings on this one myself. Yes, you can use your stencil, which is absolutely ace. So you can coffee stain it. And then this camera is really awkward tonight. And then just go through with your, obviously, your distressing. So you can do this over coffee stain paper. But what you can do, if you want all different sizes, is... This is what I did. This was full. Hang on, we'll do it like that. So all I did was lid round and pop it down. Lid round, pop it down. This is it. And then I got <laughs> like ducking and diving. I can't see anything. A little lid. And the splashes are awesome. And it's going to be totally unique every time. So whilst I love a stencil, and I do love the stencils because of the writing and everything, but if you just want coffee stains, this is how I did it. And then I did, once it dried off a little bit, was I sprayed it with this, but my spray is broken. So I'm thinking if we force dry it a little bit... <coughs> No problem at all, John. We're nearly done here anyway. I don't want to keep people too long just on coffee. But um, basically, the crepe paper and the ribbon and the lace is exactly the same as the chiffon ribbon as well. Um, also, if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're not already, if you haven't already, please like and share. And yes, share the love. Share the love. If you're not chatting, hello, it's lovely to see you. You don't have to chat, but don't force you. And then let's drip. And you're going to get the drips. And then you can actually just go around with your coffee, your distress inks and things as well. 
But I'll tell you, this one is the one I spritz and you can kind of see it, all the drips. And I just used some of the crepe paper as well, just under some lace. You can kind of see here where I'm getting it a drip. So that's on a white background, which I think is awesome. And that was with it spritzed. And then I think around the edges with a brown distress ink. But these buttons here, I just think they're awesome. They're just wooden buttons off Amazon. You got a big bag. I got a big bag of them like 10 years ago. But again, like I say, you can actually colour with them as well. So I coloured with the coffee and then I just dropped some orange watercolour in. But I coloured the whole flower with the coffee. So the green went into the coffee, the orange went into the coffee, and that's what gives it its vintage look. So you can change any kit at all. But I'm going to love you and leave you there. I really am, except I think I've gone full steam ahead with loads of different ideas. Um, do go check out the website, though. The new kit's absolutely awesome. So this is the coffee granules that go in the percolate, and this is the instant coffee. I don't know which one I like more. Um, I'm going to have to order some more matte medium. I do like gloss, but I prefer the matte. It's only you gobby ones that chat. Not at all. On your site. You can scroll down. Um, it's different on the PC and the app on like your mobile device. In the On the mobile device, in the top right-hand corner, there's three little bars. Um, you just click on the very top right-hand corner. I think... The Emma's um, Happy Place sign, sign the color of it kind of hides it a little bit. It's three little lines, and then just click on shop and it will bring everything up together. You can see everything, just scroll down. <laughs> um, but on the um web on the PC, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's easier on the PC. I do need to get back on the web and try and sort it out a little bit, but I'm useless at technology. This is more my thing, but I, I will, I promise. But on the home screen at the very top right hand corner next to the emma's happy place banner it should have the three little lines that you can click click on and it'll drop down saying shop or something um i don't even know if i can show you because it is a bit of a i'm not good with technology at all literally i've learned how to add things and let's see if i can show Emma's happy to play it. Oh, might help if I spelled it right, mightn't it? Right, two seconds. Ah, there. So at the top on the mobile, there's your three little lines. You just click and then it goes to shop. So it must be on the mobile that the banner hides that little bit at the top. So if you're on the PC, there's three little lines hidden. If you're on a mobile, they're there. And you just click on shop and it drops down. Hold on. So shop, and then you can scroll down and everything. And then you do have to click on it to add to basket. But yes, I hope that helps. I hope the coffee thing is so many ideas because I love it. I stink of coffee though, like all over. But I can't smell it. It smells like kind of spicy. It's not, it doesn't smell like coffee coffee. But yes, that is me for tonight. I will be back Tuesday. We will make some paper roses. I have put the template on Emma's Happy Place Arts and Crafts Facebook group. So go and join that. I do ask some really pointless questions. It's like, just to check that you're human, really. I got told questions were best, so I made some up. Um, it says, are you an artist or crafter? Just put yes. You know what I mean? You're a crafter, you're an artist, whatever. If you're an artist, you're a crafter and vice versa. Um... I think ask what's your favourite colour as well. I can't remember now. But that's it. I'm going to go. I'm going to shut up. Lots of love. I'll see you Tuesday. Bye for now. Oh, have a nice Monday. Bye.